Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video we are going to discuss the feature of the classroom dashboard from the instructor's point of view. Let's first log in to your members site by clicking on the login in the right upper corner. Once logged in, let's navigate to the classroom dashboard by clicking on classes on the top navigational bar. Notice that we're on Jane Austen's instructor dashboard, but if you find yourself on the parent or the student dashboard, simply click on the drop down menu on the right hand side to switch the dashboard view. Our classroom dashboard page is a widget platform. Notice on each widget there is a double arrow that you can click on and expand that section to read all of your classes, assignments, class communications, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and show you what it looks like for my classes. And here we can see all the classes that Jane Austen is instructing in. Back on the classroom dashboard in the My Classes widget, notice that we have current classes. If you have any classes upcoming, it will have an upcoming classes link also. By clicking on the title of the class, this will take you to the class home page. At the bottom of the classes widget, there is a request new link. This will only be visible if your administrator has allowed you to submit a classroom proposal. And just to the right of that is our view archived. If you have any classes that you've taught in the past that are archived, this is where you would view them. Next to the My Classes widget is the Assignments widget. Clicking on the title of the class will take you to the home page again. Clicking on the assignment title will take you to the page where you can edit the assignment. At the bottom of the Assignments widget is a Post New link. By clicking on a Post New, you can add a new assignment to any of your classes that you're currently teaching. You will need to click on the drop-down menu of the class to select the class that you want to assign, assign this assignment to. Back on the dashboard next to the Assignment widget, we have our Class Communication widget. Clicking on the title of the class will take you to all the forums in that class. Coming back here, clicking on the title of the communication will take you directly to that thread where you can post to the thread or you can add a new thread to the class. On the classroom dashboard, at the bottom of the class communication, you can click on post new. Clicking post new will take you to a page where you can add a new thread, but you will need to click on the drop down and choose the class that you want to add this to. Back on the dashboard, on the bottom of the class communication on the right, you can click on view all and this will allow you to view all the communication that's been going on in your group, including the general, the classes, and the archived classes. On the classroom dashboard, scrolling down, we have the attendance widget. Here you can see that your classes have some attendance records in it. If we click on the class, Adventures in Reading, we will see attendance records here and here's where you can add new attendance records for that class. You also can toggle between your classes. Back on the classroom dashboard at the bottom of the attendance widget you can click on post new. Again this will allow you to add a new attendance to any of your classes that you're teaching. Back on the classroom dashboard we have the grades widget this will show you how many children are in your class that are being graded and it'll give you an average of the grade for that class for all of your students. Clicking on the title of the class will take you to the grades and reports section where you can click on a student, see the assignments that are here listed for that student and give them grades here. If there are any widgets that are missing from your classroom dashboard that we spoke about in this video, please contact your administrator. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel.